Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to stop a dripping shower head even if you have your uh, your knob turned all the way off. So right now it's totally off, but it's still dripping. Alright, so that means there's a seal in here that's broken that we need to replace. Okay, so all this tutorial takes 15-20 minutes. We don't really know why it's happening. It, it happens, okay? So this is a very common problem. Um, so uh, I'll show it to you guys in about two to three minutes, three, three minutes tops, okay? As far as tool goes, you're gonna need a channel lock, a pair of new needle nose plier, uh, a Phillip uh, screw, and uh, Allen wrench, okay? So um, the first step we're gonna do, we have to open up this cover. Actually, the first thing to do is to turn off the water. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take this apart so you know which part to uh, go to your hardware store to get a replacement. Just take off the handle. And then you're going to want to take this cover off. So depending on your model, some just comes out with a clip that you remove. But this one looks like it's a delta, so it looks like there's a little cap here. And then what you want to do is just take this out gently. So sometimes you just need to kind of wiggle it. Okay, once you take that off. All right, guys, so I promise you guys this video is going to be like three minutes tops, but there's a couple of things that happen that's not going to make that happen, unfortunately. So check this out. Number one, when I took this out apart, uh, this, this piece right here broke in half. This is the other half. I looked at this. I was like, oh, man, what is this? Never seen that before. Kind of threw me off. So the whole entire unit looks like this. Half of it got stuck in there. And it is a very common problem. All right. So um, here's the fix to that. You want to get some penetrating oil and then you're going to put some of that in there and give it about a few minutes, maybe five minutes for it to, you know, start working. So be very liberal with it. They say you can put as much, pretty much as much as you want. Okay. And then you're going to probably need a pair of pliers to take them out. So after putting some penetrating oil, we're going to have to wait a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to give you guys a rant. Okay. So I know a lot of you guys just uh, out there, um, not you guys, but a lot of people are saying, hey, support businesses, local businesses, don't buy it online. Man, this right here was $62. At Lowe's, I checked at Home Depot, $64. Ace Hardware, $65, $64. Ridiculous, okay? Something like this. You know, we are struggling as a family, you know, to, to, to pay bills and things like that as an American, okay? Paying taxes, all of that. I saw this. I'm not trying to advertise for Amazon, okay? Not at all. But while I looked at this, I got sticker shock. I looked up Amazon, it's $19. $19, okay? So I don't care how you guys say, how wrong it is, if you guys think, but saving three times as much for my family, you know, for a young family, two little kids, that's something I'm gonna have to do. You know what I mean? So Amazon, check it out. I'm not trying to plug Amazon, but if you guys want, buy it on Amazon a day before. So if you guys are watching this video, you guys think you're gonna do this, I have no choice to buy this because I'm already halfway through. All right, so Amazon, I'll put a link on the bottom of this video for you so you guys can check it out. Save some money. Okay guys, so sorry about that rant right now. All right, after five minutes, you're gonna put a pair of pliers in there and then we're gonna wiggle it a little bit and it should come out. I see a lot of videos, people are just de uh, demoing this, like blasting this thing completely out. Man, that's all you got to do. Get yourself some penetrating oil. All right, so now it's out. Clean this up with a cloth. Very nice and clean. And we're going to get ready to put in a new one. This is a good time to inspect inside to see if it's corroded or anything that you have stuck in there. Mine is very clean. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, yeah. So this is the new one here. Get ready to line it up. Pop it in. There we go. Nice and fitted. There's a groove right here on the side that you see it'll be lining up. Now you just gotta put everything back. Spend all of my money. Put the cover back. 
you line it, these two screws up and then put the handle and we're good to go. Tighten it with the Allen wrench. And that's it. Let's go ahead and try it out now. Okay, so as you can see, our water is running. All these little tools that I was using. And now, off with no leak. Oh, man, that was bothering me for a while. But uh, yeah, we're all done. Sorry about the, the, the longer video, but you know, I just had to rant. It had to be done. I had to call somebody out in order to finish the video. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe.